Hello and welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll show you how I built this uh, smart thermometer. So here I have the electronics enclosed inside this 3D printed casing. As you can see, we have the IR sensor here and the MLX90615 contactless IR temperature sensor here. So we have the Arduino Nano and the sensors are soldered inside over a perf board. Now the complete circuit diagram for this and the code on this Arduino Nano can be found at the link given in the description of this video. I'll also show how the circuit works in that description. Now uh, let's see how to put this together. So basically uh, the 3D printed case has two pieces. One is the main enclosure. Uh, the other is the cover which I have mounted to my mobile phone here using a small paper clip. So the idea is that you can slide this cover inside the main enclosure like this and you can mount this uh, complete setup over your mobile phone and directly use this so before we do that what we have to do is connect this to our mobile phone i am using a just normal uh, micro usb to a uh, normal usb arduino programming cable and an otg converter so this is for uh, micro usb but you can sorry this is mini usb and this is micro usb but you can also use a type c and it will work with type c mobile phones as well so to connect this i have an opening here for the Arduino nano just connect your cable like this and we have the usb otg converter here just connect it to the other end and on the mobile phone you have to install the ec scan application i have already done that if you have not installed you can install it from the uh, I have given the APK file in the link at the description of this video. Now once you have installed the app just launch it and when you, you can view the history you have settings and click on scan if you want to start scanning and it will ask you to connect the device. Now you can connect the device here. So for some devices, if it doesn't discover, it means you have to enable the OTG option. Just get into settings, search for OTG and under OTG settings, make sure you have turned on the OTG option. So once that is done, you will see the app pops up again and it will start measuring temperature. So let me slide this to here. and now like that it's ready so we can directly point this phone to any person whose temperature should be read and you will see the temperature here so right now let me just point my own hand so as you can see the temperature at my hand is 37.9 so you can point it to forehead or wherever you want 37.9 36.5 so like that you can measure the temperature of any person and all the measured temperatures you can find them in the scanned list so you can find my previous reading as well so today is wednesday july 19 i did not take anything yesterday so if you have taken you can filter it from here and then you can see uh, all the recorded you can see all the temperatures that has ever been measured so this list is the scanned list if you come back you will see scanned and suspected if you get into suspected you will see all the suspected person's temperature along with their photographs so in the settings option you can set the sound and temperature value so right now i have set that if the temperature is greater than 38 it is a fever and we need to take a photograph of that person so uh, my temperature doesn't reach more than 38 so i have my laptop here so let us measure the temperature of the laptop So my laptop is hot, so it's 41.4 and it has prompted for the image. So just click on the image and you can take image of the person. So right now, let me just take the image of my hand. So that's it. If you go into the suspected list, you can see all the photographs ever taken, including the one that I just took now. So another option here is the continuous mode instead of having this animation if you want to display the temperature all the time just turn on continuous mode and you will see the temperature so as soon as you bring an object into proximity you will see the temperature being displayed and you can just scan 
you can just scan all over the place and see what is the temperature of uh, the particular person or even you can measure the temperature of an object or whatever you wish and another thing that i should show you is the sharing option let's say if i want to share all the things that i have taken so far just get into the list you want to share filter it if you need to and then click on the share option and you will get various options you can share it with whatsapp email message whatever it is let me demonstrate with whatsapp i'm just sending it to a small test group and once you send it it will it will be get shared as an excel file just open the file and you'll see all the temperature which was measured with time temperature date and everything even the pictures will be visible here so this or the these this was the latest picture that i demonstrated to you but whatever picture you take it might be the picture of a person or an id card and everything will get displayed here so that's it guys thanks for watching hope you like the project thank you bye bye